Ah, yeah, this about <laughs> Jesus. I love him so, so much. Thank yes. God for Thank Jesus. I love him yeah. so much. Thank I need you, Jesus. He died for, for my sins, sins on that cross. Too. Took the fall. Yeah. Wow. I'm a new man redeemed. I stand tall. Oh, yes, yeah. I grace to wash me clean like, like a, a river. I'm reborn through the depths yeah. of his love. My yeah. new life was sweet. He bore yeah. the weight of all our sins, the ah. burdens that we bear. Yeah. He hung upon that cross. A so symbol of despair, but from that death. New life emerged, the hope for us all to see from through his sacrifice. He set us free, yeah. He died for my sins on that cross. He took the fall. Now I'm a new man, redeemed. I stand tall. His grace washed me clean like a river. I'm reborn through the depths of his love. My new life was sworn, yeah. Thank you for tuning in to New Man Justified by Faith Podcast. Tune in every day. I have a new one for you. I love you all. And thank you. Don't forget to pray. Tell God you love him. Tell God you need him. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Today, we are going to talk about something very important and powerful. The word of the Lord. Our main focus will be on the idea that the word of the Lord endures forever. This means that God's word is eternal, it's unchanging, and it's always true. Let's dive into what this means for us and how we can live by it. Let me give you my main points. And I also have what six of them, six main points. All right, the first one is God's word is eternal. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter 1 and 25, it says, but the word of the Lord endures forever. This means that no matter what happens in the world, God's word remains the same. It doesn't change with times or circumstances. Think about it. How many Things in our lives change, seasons change, technology change, even our own feelings change, our mood swings change, boyfriends and girlfriends change, sometimes, unfortunately, husbands and wives change, but God's word is a solid foundation that we can always rely on. Number two. God's word is true. In John 17 and 17, Jesus prays to God saying, sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. This tells us that everything in the Bible is true and trustworthy. When we read the Bible, we can be confident that we are learning The truth about our living God, ourselves, and the world around us. Number three, studying God's word. Psalms 119 and 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. This means that God's word guides us and helps us make good decisions. It's important for us to read and study the Bible regularly. By doing this, we can understand God's will for our lives and grow in our faith. Number four, living by God's word. James 1 and 22 encourages us to do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves, but do what it says. This means that we should not only read the Bible, but also put its teachings into practice. When we live according to God's word, we show our love for him and become a light to others. Number five, sharing God's word. Jesus gave us the great commission. In Matthew 28 and 19, it says, saying, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son 
and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. We are called to share God's word with others, helping them to know and follow Jesus. Number six, the greatest commandments. Jesus summarized all the commandments in Matthew 22 and 37 through 40. It says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on to these two commandments. By loving God and loving others, we fulfill all of God's commandments. This is the essence of living by God's word. In conclusion, the word of God endures forever. It is eternal. It is true and a guide for our lives. We should study it, live by it, and share it with others. By doing so, we show our love for God and fulfill His commandments. Let's close this with a prayer. You ready? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your eternal and unchanging word. Help us to study it diligently, live by its teachings, and share it with others. Give us the strength to love you with all our hearts, soul, and mind, and to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Guide us in all that we do and let your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Man, and thank you for tuning in to Trusted in God podcast, a daily podcast and a weekly sermon. Peace.